Hey what's up guys, Will here for GSM Arena. We've already done a full review of Xiaomi's Mi Note 10 Lite, but now it's time to look at the similarly named Mi 10 Lite. It's a bit confusing, so let's go over the phone's key features and see what makes it special. The Mi 10 Lite 5G is a nice looking phone, with its curved back and gradient finish. Ours is in cosmic gray. There's nothing surprising here in the design, but it feels like a solid, well-built mid-range device. Though you'd think the phone with Note in the name would be bigger, it's the opposite. The Mi 10 Lite has the larger screen. This one is flat too, not curved. It's a 6.57 inch AMOLED, protected by Gorilla Glass 5, with a 1080p resolution and a U-shaped notch cutout for the 16 megapixel selfie cam. You also get a fingerprint reader under the display, like the Note has. One clear benefit you get here is the Mi 10 Lite Snapdragon 765G chipset. This is one of the most powerful mid-range chips you can get right now, and the Mi 10 Lite is probably the cheapest phone you can find it on. It provides great mid-range performance, and comes with liquid cooling so thermals should be great too. You should be able to run heavy games with no issues, and of course you get support for 5G connectivity. There are some downsides to this device, and one is its smaller 4150mAh battery. It's not small, more like an average size these days, but I wouldn't expect its battery life to be chart topping. You do get 20 watt fast charging though, which should be decently fast. Storage isn't expandable on the Mi 10 Lite 5G, you'll have to make do with the onboard storage, and there are options for 64, 128, or 256 gigs. The phone's UI is Xiaomi's MIUI 11 over Android 10. We didn't expect any real surprises here, but there are some useful features, like a video editor app, an IR blaster for controlling appliances with, an NFC for contactless payments or connectivity. On the back, you'll see the phone's quad camera setup. The main cam is a quad bear one, which at 48 megapixels is lower res than the Mi Note 10 lights. The rest is the same though. There's an 8 megapixel ultra wide cam, a 2 megapixel macro cam, and a depth sensor. We'll do our usual in depth camera analysis and let you know how they hold up in our full review. So there you have it. Despite the similar name, the Mi 10 Lite is a different beast than the Mi Note 10 Lite. You get a faster chipset, a smaller battery, and a flat, not a curved screen. With a launch price of around 320 euros, it's probably the cheapest way to get a Snapdragon 765G with 5G support. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments and I'll see you soon with our full review.